everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Teddy Winston Experience. My name is Anisha Sidhu, and today I am honored to be accompanied by someone who makes Atlanta look very good, y'all. <laughs> His name is Andre Dickens. He's the Atlanta City Councilman. Welcome. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. It's good to see you too. How are you today? I'm doing well. Doing well. How have you been doing during this pandemic? as the Atlanta City Councilman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've personally been well managing time with my daughter and just, you know, getting things done around the house. But as far as the city goes, just making sure that everyone is safe and having food to eat during the times when it was tough to get food, having the supplies that they need, and just planning for the future for making sure everybody's safe. And then when we get out of this, that we have an economy and we have a city that's thriving. So it's been a lot of work on the city side, but personally, I'm doing well. Oh, well, you look well. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> That's good to know. How old is your daughter? She's 15. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you have a teenager on your hands. That's nice. Is yes. it challenging? Oh, man. You know, it, she's the love of my life. I mean, you know, you, it's literally what people told you it would be, you know, that you would have this daughter and that she would just warm your heart. And she's my favorite person in the world. She's 15, uh, going into the 10th grade and literally, you know, smart as a whip. I think she could just go out of school right now, start a business and and all those things. She well, knows, that's wonderful. I mean, you know, this is what it is. This is how they are now. They're just so yeah. independent and capable. Yeah, I'm a mother of three boys and my 17 year old, he's like, so amazing he wants to do everything under the sun so i know like you know what you're yeah. saying about the teenage life and how like they're literally like entrepreneurs now <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> they yeah. want to be in business for themselves like you know so that's wonderful what are some of the things you like to do like you know daddy daughter time so definitely like to show her outdoor stuff. So we go to waterfalls and parks and things of that nature. Got a little garden going on at the house, growing tomatoes, even though she doesn't like tomatoes. She doesn't? <laughs> Is she no, allergic or she the, doesn't but, like them? But she, yeah, she likes them in salsa and ketchup uh, and all that stuff. But she don't like my little, you know, tomatoes at the grocery store or the tomatoes <laughs> I grow. But we grow on other stuff okay. too, like all these spices and thyme and mm -hmm. rosemary and, um, you know, basil and all this kind of stuff, mint. So, you know, just getting out, doing those kind of things. And, and we go around the city of Atlanta. I want to make sure that my daughter is an ambassador to this yes. city. So uh, she has gone to so many events with me, so many venues and those type of things. We bring friends along, bring her nieces, uh, my niece and her cousins along. So, you know, we just get out and go places. Yes. During COVID, we do it safely. I'm kind of blessed to have connections to go in these places, but uh, she gets the experience and, and we go to restaurants. You know, I cook and we go to I restaurants. I was just about to ask you, do you cook with her? Like, do you guys cook together or do you mainly just do all the cooking and she eats? Well, it's about 80-20. Okay. You know? So, so she's, she's definitely reaping some good benefits of dad, oh. trying to make sure he shows her, you know, some, some hospitality and okay. always... Uh, you know, try to cater to her. Okay. But every now and then I'm like, no, you know what Taco Tuesday is about. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Right. I eat tacos every Tuesday. Oh. So it's because it's Taco Tuesday. Okay. This is your turn to get in the kitchen and hook up, right. hook up the tacos. Oh my you know, gosh. I'm going to do the chopping up the stuff, but you got to make the meat and sauce and all that kind of stuff. And so she's like, all right. So we switch off like that. Well, that, that's good. Yeah. What's your favorite? Taco, I guess. What's your favorite one? I like I like jerk salmon. So what's yours? Ooh, that, you're fancy. I'm jerk fancy. salmon. I'm not, I was. <laughs> dang, I gotta come up with some other than what I was gonna say. <laughs> I was going to say beef and chicken, what? you know? <laughs> well, I like jerk chicken okay. tacos. <laughs> fish, fish tacos if I'm going to a restaurant. Okay. They, they make good fish tacos at a lot of restaurants here in Atlanta. Yeah, they do. But yeah. nothing like homemade. Nothing like homemade. Nothing like it. I, I keep it. I'm good. You know, I know what, what to put in the taco. Wonderful. Well, I want to try it one day. Yeah, you got it. We'll, I'm we'll going to swap. You. We'll swap. I'll make my jerk chicken tacos and then you can make like your specialty. And then we'll, yeah. See, you got yeah. it. You, that's what we, that's, that's yes. it. That's the plan right yes, there. Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> okay. So where are you from? Where were you born and raised? And what was life like for you as a child? So I'm what they call a Grady baby. Okay. I was born and raised right here in the ATL. Uh, grew up in Southwest Atlanta, Atlanta public school system. Okay. Uh, my mother, you know, grew up here in Atlanta. So I'm a fourth or fifth generation Atlantan. 
Um, I was the first in my family to go to college, so I went to Georgia Tech. Uh, and so got a chemical engineering degree there and got a master's at Georgia State. So as you hear this story, I'm all things ATL, a, you know, Atlanta trained and Atlanta business and everything. So uh, my mom and everybody's from here and still lives here in this city. So tell me how you got into politics. What inspired you? Yeah, so I grew up here in Atlanta and watching Maynard Jackson and Andrew Young, those were great mayors. And I just was inspired watching their service and thinking about what they've done for the city as a, as a kid. So when I got into college, I got into student government and then after college, got into neighborhood association. And then eventually I said, I wanna run and I wanna help serve my city and be a, uh, about bringing about change and opportunity to people and I won. Um, so I was blessed to win my first election as a uh, citywide official. And so um, I'm just thankful that I got reelected and keep getting reelected so that I can serve Atlanta. Black excellence. Congratulations on that. You're doing phenomenal. Thank you. Like seriously. And speaking of black excellence, we have Kamala Harris, who was just nominated for vice president. Yeah. And we're just going to give her an awesome shout out right now. And you're going to share your feedback on me and on your thoughts on that. So this is a historic period. Yeah. Uh, you think about this, now we have a black woman, the first woman and the first black person to be a vice presidential nominee for a major party. And so in, on November 3rd, we get a chance to make history to a, a have a black woman yeah. elected vice president. Clap. <laughs> think about the lifetime yeah. that your sons and my yeah. daughter has lived. Mm -hmm. They have had a black president. Yep. And then now, hopefully now. with fingers crossed and a whole lot of people showing up to the polls, they have a black vice president and the first woman. This will be, I mean, this is history all over and over again. And she's the real deal. She's legit. She's good. Joe Biden is good. Yes. Time for change. So yes. I'm hoping that that comes true for Wonderful. all of us. Wonderful. Yes, me as well. And I'm sure everybody else is too. So what do you like to do aside from being in the, you know, in the ATL streets when you're home? <laughs> what, what? What do you like to do when you're just chilling by yourself, alone time? Like Yeah, so I, I love music. Okay. So I love listening to music on my, you know, screen porch, just looking out over the backyard with a cocktail and enjoying that. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not doing that, I like to be at a intimate uh, venue, okay. watching live music being played, having friends. Um, so I love just music for real. That's that's one of the things. Um, also sports. I'm a you know I'm an Atlanta Hawks, okay. Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Braves, Atlanta <laughs> right. United, mm -hmm. Georgia Tech. So I, I can go to any game or watch it on TV uh, with friends or by myself. So mm -hmm. uh, you know just being entertained by music and entertainment. And then I'm a fixer upper kind of guy. You oh, know nice. you know. So part of my background is I used to own a series of furniture stores called City Living. I owned oh. them for nine years oh. up until the recession and so okay. I'm a decorator and love to fix and tinker around nice. the house do a little things until I get myself beyond where I need to go <laughs> I call up one of my friends and they come help that is like really good information to know yeah that's yeah. awesome okay so what's your favorite genre of music I love jazz I love reggae what do you like so I, I get down with Atlanta hip hop. Okay. okay. So I, I want to give you this great councilman answer, like, no. oh, I love, oh, I love, you know, you know, 19th century no, classical not, jazz. Don't do that. No, I'm like, you know, Outkast, Two Chains, okay, Gucci yes. Mane, Ti, G. Yes, yes. So so straight ATL, Goody okay. Mob. Okay. But uh, but then also I really really like um, uh, when you get into the uh, you know. The, the, the Sinead Allegra, Allegra yes. the, uh, you know, you know, just women Sade. singers. Oh, yes, oh, Sade. Oh my I love God. Sade. You know, uh, her. I love her. her. I love her. Yes. Summer Walker. Summer you know, Walker, yeah. So, so I love all that too. So this okay. new age hip hop that's mixed with R&B yeah. and all that stuff, I, I, I dig that. Um, you know, I, I mean, I get into everything. Um, to, what about to be what about what about '90s hip hop? I mean, I'm oh. from the Bronx, you know, and we like the big. Love it. We like you. Gotta yeah, love it. I mean, you know, P. I mean, and the fam. Like <laughs> the other day, I listened to Nas's whole oh first my gosh, CD Nas. again. Nas, Nas we love need to hear, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Biggie, I love Nas. He's like a homie, so oh I like gosh. him. Uh, so all that, love that, and then Afro beats. So yes. Afro beats oh and reggae gosh. tone. They're starting to mix a little bit Listen. Afro beats and reggae, but I love it. Oh my gosh. You love it too? I love it too. <laughs> so there's an artist named Techno. Hi, Techno. Okay. He makes 
amazing Afrobeat music. Mm. Have you ever heard of him? Mm -mm, well, I put you on and put thank me you later. On. Put me on. <laughs> great for like coffee uh, and some other people. These are some yes. great artists. And so I love that. That's just playing. That's like background music. That's like the theme music to my house. You just Wonderful. come in there and, and that's playing. And a, and a, yeah. And a, okay. Okay. <laughs> Get a little Wonderful. bit of that going on. You know, oh I can't gosh. give y'all too much right now. But no, I'm, we want to see know. some, but he's just acting shy, y'all. You know, you know I'm going to say, well. Keep, keep, keep it cool, you know, lay back. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> so I just want to get into your style really quick because you're like, uh, really dressed nice oh, well, as always. Like thing. you always have on like really nice like suits and stuff. Mm -hmm, you're well put mm -hmm. together all the time. What inspires your fashion? So I, I kind of think about my attire as all day in the A. Okay. <laughs> so all day in the A. So, okay. so my life is, you know, 7.30, 8 in the morning uh -huh. till midnight. Yes. Literally, I might leave my house and not come back to that oh. time because I'm going to meetings and events mm -hmm. and openings and, you know, meetings and going to see developments and also going to various community meetings. Mm -hmm. So I have to be flexible. So in my car is a jacket that can go with this outfit. Nice. And so if I need to dress it up so I can go be, you know, maybe a, a news thing might happen. Mm -hmm. So every other day there's something yeah. going on that one of the news stations may want to interview me mm -hmm. on or so I have to be flexible enough to be able to go hang with the hang with anybody, go hang with, you know, fashion folks, hang with media folks, hang with business people, not be too much that you're not approachable to the community folks. I got aunties <laughs> and former school teachers in this neighborhood. Okay. I can't over, just overwild them and they're like, oh, yeah. you, 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 you're, doing you, you, you're doing too much. You're just not relevant <laughs> anymore. That, why, why a $10,000 suit on? You know, that's just crazy. You right. need, and then we sitting here in poverty yeah. and, you know, too much Aww. going on in the community. So. Yeah. You know, you do just definitely want to make sure that you're relatable, but also comfortable. So everything I wear, I'm not going to wear something that I can't get in and out of comfortably and be able to go into any community. But I'm going to be myself. So this is flex, flex wear. Thank Look you. at the socks and the shoes. A something, try to do that. Come on now, shoes. And every day, this is a fun fact about what I do. Every day I'm wearing something black on. This is a black owned watch company. Every day I wear it purposefully. I'm like, what, what, yes. what, what, what I'm love gonna it. do is gonna love be it. that way. I Every love single it. day. I love it. And I like the, the arm candy you have because that is uh, exclusively sold at Teddy Winston. Had so to. Uh, yeah, Had it's to amazing. Do it, you know? You look great. Okay, so if you're not dressed up, what do you wear? Like, every day if you're going to the supermarket, if you're oh, hanging yeah. out with your daughter, is it like joggers, shorts, yeah. basketball shorts? What do you, what do you? Oh, I, I, I'm in an ATL, I'm in an A hat. Okay. And some shell to Adidas. <laughs> okay. And maybe some joggers or some jeans or nice. some shorts. So I'm very comfortable yeah. if I'm just going to the supermarket, if I'm just going to the, you know, hardware store. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna yeah. be comfortable. So, and but look good doing it. Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm gonna look good doing it. I mean, okay. I got like all, I mean, I got like four or five pair of Adidas and Pumas. Mm -hmm. Going back to your '90s hip hop, or actually that's more like '80s hip hop. So I rock, I rock Adidas. my comfortable yeah. Adidas and Pumas and stuff like that. So you I got some Jays, I got some Jordans. You got some Jordans. Yeah, too? yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can see you in Jordans. So you, you can when we do Taco okay. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, I got them. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. How often do you get groomed? So I try to every two weeks. Okay. Um, my barber and everything and I try to keep it right mm -hmm. uh, but you know it gets so busy sometimes yeah. so you know the good news is you know I try to do some home maintenance uh, try to keep it a little, a little uh, and this is my first time growing a beard oh well it this works. is a COVID beard oh and I Let's just kept round it. of applause for the COVID beard I, I have it, never it works. you know I'm trying yes, I'm trying you work. know I, I, I never grew a beard you know and uh, I, you know I, government I, think you should keep it. I should keep it you should keep it okay, okay. and get it maintained at the Teddy Winston experience. That's what we're trying to do. Yes, yes. he's about to go <laughs> get his Teddy Winston experience mm -hmm. on right now. So thank you. Thank yes. you for that. Yeah, I'll keep it. So keep it. I was nervous about it. So I've, I, I've had a goatee for a long time, oh. but then growing the beard is uh, like something. It, it works. Okay. <laughs> So right now, Andre's going to go in the back and get his Teddy Winston experience on. Stay tuned so we can all see how it goes down.
So Andre, first of all, <laughs> you laugh because I feel <laughs> he walked seated. out with a pep in his step, Woo! feeling rejuvenated, yeah. looking alive. Like you looked alive when you first came, but you look even more alive. This you look is born something. again. <laughs> <laughs> born again. This is something else. This is yeah. fantastic. I yeah. feel great. This. That, that, that young lady back there took care of me so good. And Nisha. My, Nisha. 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 Yes, I'm that. Anisha. She's Nisha. But Nisha she has magic Nia. hands, everybody. <laughs> I mean, my beard, my hair, my face. Uh -huh. She whipped it up so fast, too. Yeah. I feel yeah. good. I feel good. I like mm, it. Thank you. Good. Yeah, you're glowing. I got the experience. You this got the Teddy Wizard experience <laughs> I mean, going I, on. I thought it was just going to be all right. You know, like, I thought it was going to be <laughs> great. <laughs> You know what I mean by that is, I thought it was gonna be good, right. but this is like, okay, okay, I gotta do this. Well, I'm gotta glad. do this. Gotta, gotta, gotta put this in my regimen because this may, this 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 really feels good. Well, you look good. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Will you recommend this experience to your fellow Atlantans? I sure will. <laughs> I, I I was texting them out. Get oh, it done. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Well, we just want to thank you so much for stopping by. It was such a pleasure having you. How can everyone find you on social media? Well, thank you for having me. And I definitely thank uh, Teddy Winston for what they're doing here in Atlanta to bring about grooming yeah. to young men like myself. And I'm enjoying this and I'm going to come back again and again. And you can find me at Andre for Atlanta on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Andre for Atlanta and anybody just just hit me up. You can ask me questions if you need anything. Mm -hmm. You can inbox me and myself or my staff will help you whatever you need in Atlanta. Yes. So I'm just a, appreciative of being in this position. Yes, he's real cool and personable everybody. So hit him up if you need to, okay? Yep. Thank you so much Andre. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you next time.